Hello, and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode, number 626, the category is Trebek Trivia, number 32. These are the questions that come straight from the television show Jeopardy. They've been modified just enough to fit the format of this trivia show. There are 20 questions, and then at the very end, there's a question 21 tiebreaker. Stick around for that, and good luck on today's quiz. Question number one. In 1954, Hugh Beaver, the director of what brewery, had the idea for a promotion based on the idea of settling pub arguments and invited fact-finding researchers from Fleet Street named the McWhorter Twins to compile a book of facts and figures. The brewery that did that is the Guinness Brewery. Question number two. In the 1980 film, The Gods Must Be Crazy, what inanimate object was dropped from an airplane and believed by the locals of the Kalahari Desert to be a gift from the gods? The answer is a Coca-Cola bottle. Question number three. Although no contemporary Roman or Greek accounts tell of such a device, a legend begun in the medieval ages tells of how what man used mirrors to concentrate sunlight and set fire to enemy sails? According to the legend, that was Archimedes. Question number four. The girlfriend of Horace Horsecollar, what was the name of the animated cow created in 1928 and seen in Mickey Mouse cartoons that shares her name with a male clown from Howdy Doody? The answer is Clarabelle. Question number five. The eighth president of the United States, what man was the first president to be born as an American citizen and not a subject of the British Empire? The first U.S. president to be born as an American was Martin Van Buren. Question number six. What is the common term that can be used for either a whale or dolphin's tail fin or an unlikely occurrence of an unexpected stroke of good luck? The answer is a fluke. Question number seven. Serving as both the head of the church and the head of state, what is the title within the church whose names come from the Latin word papa, meaning father? The answer is the pope. Question number eight. In the Chinese trilogy of novels by Pearl S. Buck, the novel Sons and then the novel House Divided followed what novel that was published in 1931 and tells the story of Wang Lung? The answer is The Good Earth. Question number nine. 
some of the early models and precursors that led to what popular invention were called the curricle, the draisine, and the velocipede. So these were like the early versions of what popular invention? The answer is the bicycle. Question number 10. The most popular and enduring legend maintains that the great Chicago fire began in a barn while what woman was milking her cow and the cow kicked over a lantern or an oil lamp in some versions? Some say lantern, some say lamp, but all of them say Miss O'Leary. Question number 11. Stretching over 12 miles from the Gap of Dunlow in the east to Glencar in the west, what country's highest mountain range, named McGillicuddy's Reeks, only reached to 3,400 feet? The answer is Ireland. Question number 12. Characterized by conspicuous warning coloration with red, white, creamy, or black bands, showy pectoral fins, and venomous spiky fin rays, and among the most beautiful and most deadly of reef fishes, what fish could appropriately be called the king of the ocean? The answer is the lionfish. Question 13. What was the appropriately named U.S. political party of the 1800s that believed one way to bring more prosperity to the country would be by issuing more paper money? The answer is the Greenback Party. Question 14. The only point in the United States shared by four states, which four states meet at the quadrupoint in the southwestern United States that is marked by the Four Corners Monument? The Four Corners Monument marks Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico, and Utah. Question 15. Featuring sculpted metals, precious porcelains, and elegant earthenwares made in places like Europe, Asia, and America, and dating from the 1720 to modern times, what company's collection of soup tureens is housed at Winterthur Museum in Delaware? The answer is Campbell's. Question 16. In 1980, the U.S. Olympic hockey team beat what country in the gold medal ice hockey game inside the Olympic Center Arena in Lake Placid, New York? They beat Russia in the semifinals and Finland in the gold medal match. Question 17. What American inventor produced both the Nautilus, the first practical submarine in history, and the Claremont, the world's first commercially successful steamboat? He's more famous for the steamboat. The answer is Robert Fulton. Question number 18. 
Competing at the NCAA Division I level as a member of the Pac-12 Conference, sports teams from what Northwestern U.S. school are nicknamed the Ducks? That school is the University of Oregon. Question 19. A disease called late blight destroyed the leaves and edible roots of what type of plants in the successive years from 1845 to 1849 and because so many people relied on them for their nutrition caused the Great Famine in Ireland? Those plants were potato plants. Question number 20. The patron saint of messengers, God sent what angel to Nazareth with a message for Mary who was promised in marriage to Joseph, telling her that she was already pregnant? The name of that angel was Gabriel. should have switched questions 1 and 20 because I should have ended on the Guinness Book of World Records question because there's so much to talk about there. I did not know that until I wrote this trivia that way back in the day this guy Hugh Beaver who was the acting director of the Guinness Brewery he was arguing with his friends they were on like a, uh, a game bird shoot and they were arguing over which game bird was the fastest and they couldn't find it in any encyclopedia this was obviously pre-google pre-internet they couldn't find it in any of the reference books which bird was the fastest so it got him to thinking and he thought you know what there's a ton of these different arguments that people argue and place bets on and and bicker with each other in the pubs so as a promotion the Guinness Brewery hired the McWhorter twins to start compiling all the records of the fastest this and the fastest that and the, the most insane facts and figures from all over the world and that's what ended up becoming on its own right a bestseller it's a it's obviously the Guinness Book of World Records which I knew they shared the same name but I did not know that it was actually from the Guinness Brewery that was one of their best, it's probably one of the best promotions of all time. They should really combine those two again and start talking about it because that's a great promotion. And I did not know that until I wrote this trivia. So you're always learning something even if you're the one writing the questions. Especially if you're the one answering the questions. So thank you guys for sticking around and playing. Sorry I got rambling on there, but let me get... Question 21, the tiebreaker out of the way. When opened, what side of an English language book are the even numbered pages usually on? Also, I'd never really thought about this one. I'll repeat. When the book is opened, what side of an English language book are the even numbered pages usually on? The answer is the left side, and the reason is because the right side is usually page number one. The title page is usually over here on the right side, which means the back side is page number two, and then it goes that way the whole time. So I've never thought about that, but even-numbered pages are almost always on the left side. That's it for today. Whole bunch of fun facts. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. For tomorrow, I believe, is Disney Channel Original Movies.